everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover five ways you can utilize milk jugs. So you'll never throw away milk jugs like this. So let's get started. Number one, you can use them as drip irrigation. Prepare the jug for drip irrigation. First, cut the top part. Use a scissor to cut the top part like this, just like that. Next, use a sharp nail like this one to poke a hole in the bottom, preferably on one corner like this. Now you can also do several holes, I actually like to do two holes so it does provide water on both sides of the plant. Now the main reason I created this large opening is that I can add rocks in there so that when the water runs out of the milk jug, the milk jug won't fly away in the wind. So first add some rocks in the milk jug. Now place the milk jug right next to the plant and then fill the milk jug with water. Now the water will slowly seep away from those holes in the bottom and provide drip irrigation to your plant. Now this is a really good way to slowly and deeply water your plants without spending too much money on drip lines. Number two, you can utilize these milk jugs to grow your plants hydroponically. I'm going to be growing tomatoes hydroponically. I'm going to use this hydroponic cup on the milk jug to grow my tomatoes. So first, I'm going to cut a hole right on top of the milk jug. So I'm going to get a mental picture of how big the hole needs to be and then I'm going to make my cut. Well, there you go, and on top of this hole, I'm going to place my hydroponic cup. Now, before I'm going to place a plant in there, I'm first going to add some organic fertilizer in the milk jug. And then I'm filling the milk jug with water. I'm going to fill the milk jug all the way, almost to the top. And then I'm adding my tomato plant in the hydroponic cup. And then I'm topping off the milk jug with water so that the roots of the tomato plant are in direct contact with the water. And then I'm placing the tomato plant right next to the side of my greenhouse that receives a lot of sunlight. Now you can also do this on the side of your window as well. After a month and a half, the tomato plant is growing tall. You can grow tomato plants like this in milk jugs hydroponically. Number three, you can utilize these milk jugs to protect your plants from cold and frost in winter. To make a mini greenhouse, we are first going to cut the bottom part of the milk jug. So we're gonna go right at the bottom and completely cut the bottom off. Next, we're going to use a sharp nail to make a hole in the side. And we're going to do that on both sides, on the opposite sides. Simply cover your plant with the milk jug. And where we made those holes, we're going to use these clips to secure the greenhouse to the ground so it doesn't fly away in the wind. So I'm going to insert the clip in that hole that we made and then I'm going to secure the clip in the ground. I'm going to do the same on both sides. There you go. This way our mini milk jug greenhouse will not fly away in the wind. You can also open the top of the milk jug for some ventilation. This video is sponsored by Weaver. Now Weaver makes this walk-in greenhouse. Now this greenhouse is really good to start your seedlings or protect your plants from cold and frost. It comes with a shelving system to easily stack your plants. If you're interested in purchasing this greenhouse, I'll leave a link to this product in the description of this video. Number four, you can use these milk jugs to grow mushrooms. So I have a regular milk jug here. So I added a funnel on top of the milk gallon jug and then I'm adding coffee grounds in there and gently pushing them in. After filling the whole jug with coffee grounds, now I'm going to add hot water in there. This process sterilizes all the coffee grounds so that no mold and no other fungus grows in there, only our own mycelium. And now I'm going to close it for 24 hours. So the coffee grounds have been sitting in the milk jug for 24 hours and they have cooled down. Now it's time to add some holes into the container. Now I'm using this nail and I wash the nail very thoroughly with hot water so that there's no mold or fungi sticking to the nail. And I'm going to simply make a few holes in the container. And now I'm going to inoculate the green medium with some mushroom spawn. So I'm adding two in there. I'm making sure they go all the way down. Now the best temperature to grow your mushrooms is 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 12 to 24 degrees Celsius. And mushrooms love humidity. And that's what the milk jug is going to do. When closed, the milk jug is going to maintain the humidity in the coffee grounds. So when everything is done, just place the milk jug in a dark corner of your garage or a greenhouse. So it's been two months and the mushrooms have started growing. Let me show you. Well, check this out. This is absolutely fabulous. Look at all of these mushrooms growing out of this milk jug. 
Well, check it out. Isn't that amazing? And I only had to pay for the mushroom mycelium spawn. Everything else was free. Number five, you can utilize this milk jugs to store your compost tea, your Nemo solution, and other things that you spray in your garden. I use this milk jugs to store my compost tea concentrate that I make myself from kitchen scraps. To make my compost tea, I first add water to the blender. I then add banana peels, apple peels, leftover parts of lettuce, and watermelon rinds. I also add coffee grounds in my compost tea as well. Then I bring all the ingredients completely. I then add my compost tea concentrate into the milk jugs. Now before you close this, one thing you do want to do is use some sort of a nail and punch a little hole in there. Just like that. Maybe you can create a couple of more holes in there. This will help the compost tea to breathe and also prevent other flies and other insects from laying eggs in there. You can use these milk jugs to store your compost tea concentrate for six months and even up to nine months. So utilizing these milk jugs to store your compost tea or your prepared neem oil solution or other things that you spray in your garden is a really good way to utilize these milk jugs. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.